Okay, let's go check for eggs. You checking for eggs, guys? The chickens were going nuts yeah. earlier. We got an egg! Oh, you, got you got an egg! egg. Wow! Oh, I'm chicken. Chicken. Oh, I want to hold it! I want to hold it! Wow! Give it back. Our first Here. egg! Let's zoom in! Our first ever egg! Oh, Look how little oh, it is! What kind of egg is it? I don't know, but I bet it's a, it had to be one of the black chickens. I bet it's a chicken egg. They were the it. ones that were inside this morning <laughs> making so much noise. I got a So neat. We better check the other side too in case in case they had any more. Was oh. that you, Sam? Oh, Here, Maybe let's go check. To lay more eggs. Let's check the other side. Maybe See if we got another yeah. one. No! She can come out, honey. Nothing in that side. Are you guys excited that you got your first egg? Oh, I have been waiting so long. <laughs> Luki, are you excited you got your first egg? Yes! Here, hold it up to the camera. Now we can make stuff with eggs. Yeah, that is so exciting. That is so good. So it was either Samantha or Blackie that laid the egg because I could hear them in there making a bunch of noise. And the other ones were not in the coop. You don't think it was uh, silky over here? Nope. That, it would be white. Wait, it's a pretty so small. So hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for watching the kids finding their first egg. They were very excited. Uh, I wanted to give you a little update on the construction um, that we have going on. Uh, I think, I believe it was my second video. I gave you a little walkthrough of the tiny space living that I'm going to be doing when my construction is done. Well, so far, they found the septic line there. So they got that dug up and put in. They put on some doors. You can see there's one over there. I got a mess going on. I have to apologize because everything is covered in dust and there's paint everywhere and tools everywhere. So it's been uh, challenging, put it that way. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you into the bathroom. And this is where I was having my giant freestanding soaker tub, but as you can see, this is how it arrived. Nice big old broken edge there. So the contractors get it out of the box, take the foam off of the edging here, and the whole thing is busted up. Now, this tub took four weeks to get here. And I don't, didn't want to go through that again. It started out with, it was in California. They shipped it from California to Ohio, from Ohio to Pittsburgh. When it got to Pittsburgh, the freight company realized that they don't even deliver to my area. So they ended up giving it to another freight company that then brought it to me. So. God only knows what happened to it in between all that time. But what we're going to do is um, the contractor called multiple places. I tried multiple places. We looked online. We looked at um, hardware stores here, uh, Lowell's, Home Depot, every place. You're talking like the first week of August before they could get me this tub. Finally, last night, probably around seven o'clock, I got in touch with a company that's here in Pennsylvania where I am and they said they could have it to me by next week. So I was like on top of the moon because all the construction is resting on this tub. 
it has to get in here so they can line up the sewage lines and everything else before they can go any further. They've done um, the electrical, gotten that all done. So there's not a whole lot more they can do before they get this bathroom going. And we can't even think about the tiny kitchen area here. I don't know. It's just a nightmare. So I have no kitchen sink because the sink used to be over here and now it's over here. <laughs> and he did redo the water line, so that was a plus there. I'll give you a shot at that. So I still have to have cupboards put in and the floor redone and it's just oh, not too exciting. But he did, thankfully, get my door put on here, which I am totally in love with. I love the naughty pine. And he got that one on as well as this one here that goes out to the outer room. So it's pretty much the same door, only the first one I showed you was only 24 inches. This one's 30, so if I need to get things in and out, which I will because I need a new refrigerator and a stove yet, that's another thing. I need a gas line run. So it's um, been a trying time, and I'm trying to have patience, and all this had happened, and I was so down and so upset, and then... The kids went down to check for chicken eggs and found that egg. And that just brought me right back up. You know, leave it to the kids to make you happy again. So this door here then goes into my front room here, which is a mess. I have things everywhere because I have nowhere to put them. What won't go in the garage just finds a place in here. And uh, so... I'm going to get rid of this desk here, and I'm going to be putting in a kitchen table right there. So, probably something small, but at least I'll have some kind of dining space. But that's where we're at on the construction. Just wanted to give you a little update on that. It's been a while, I do realize that, but it's been pretty slow going. So, everything's held up because of the CV thing. And uh, it's hard to get stuff. It's hard to get materials. It's hard to find paintbrushes. I just can't get over this. But anyway, thanks guys for watching My Life After 50 and tuning in to see the kids and um, seeing their first experience with finding an egg. And by the way, they got another one today. Just one. It's a tiny one. But now we have two tiny ones. So... <laughs> Well, you guys have a good night, and we'll see you soon.